Hi lovelies, in this video I will be showing you my favorite trick on how to get heatless curls without using anything at all. If I'm being honest with you, I've tried and changed every shampoo and conditioner there is. Nothing worked or did the job it's supposed to, which is why I stick to my OG head and shoulders. I found this to be the best quality shampoo for my hair type and it hasn't failed me once. Low key, this is actually my husband's and I use it too, but it's okay because I share my skin products with him, which we will do a video about soon. So going into this, remember to flip your hair upside down every time you wash it so that you can get into the roots better and allow your products to spread much easily. It's also such a better way to detangle your hair. Washing my hair this way allows more volume and when you shampoo your hair, you want to only do the scalp of your head and give it a nice massage. My hairstylist for my wedding told me to always shampoo the scalp twice to allow proper cleansing and this also takes away the oily hair problem which is something I've always dealt with all my life and that's what I've been doing ever since. When I was younger and started having acne, my back was the number one place and it was so bad to the point where I always wanted to cover up. Having your hair flipped over reduces the back acne that can clog your pores when it is not washed properly. Thank goodness I learned this sooner than later so my back cleared up when it did. Conditioner can make your hair greasy if applying it upright so when I started washing my hair flipped over, it made it easier to concentrate better on only my ends. If you haven't tried this yet, give it a shot. You won't regret it. Oh, it feels so good to have fresh clean here. So all I'm gonna do now is just brush it out. Well, comb it out. Comb out all the nuts. So now that my hair is combed out, I'm just gonna split it in the middle. Make a nice straight path. Now that my hair is split in the middle, I'm gonna comb it out. See, there's still knots in between. My clip just fell. Relax. You couldn't tell me something? No, because I heard you running. Heart, yo. I'm leaving all that in too. Good for you. Since I'm starting one side at a time, I'm just going to clip this side up. And then I'm going to start on my right side. I don't know about you guys, but my hair ear dries pretty quickly. So it's like damp. It's not even soaking wet anymore. My hair is in layers, so you will see some strands just sticking out. Especially the top part because they are shorter than the rest of the hair. But I'm just gonna start braiding. If you guys don't know how to braid, you can always get somebody to do it for you. Also, braiding it is super hard work because my hand hurts for holding it so long for a while. And then you just want to make sure that when you braid your hair, you pull it super tight. The curls will come out so beautifully better. As I got older, I think I appreciated my wavy hair more. When I was younger, I hated my wavy hair. I always wanted straight hair. Like my mom and my older sister had straight hair. And I was always, always jealous. Because my hair would always be so frizzy or it wouldn't stay in place. Or it just wouldn't look good in my opinion. And I, I really hated it. Also, I damaged my hair like crazy because of using so much heat on it from straightening it and then using the blow dryer. I used to literally straighten my hair every single day. 
and of course back then when I was younger I didn't know about heat protectant so my hair was very damaged and on top of that when I started dyeing my hair it got even more damaged with the hair color and the bleaching so my hair was absolutely ruined before I got pregnant I gave up on my hair because of how damaged it was I had so many split ends and it just looked very bad so when I got pregnant I literally chopped all my hair off up to my shoulders my hair was all the way down to my waist and I chopped it off all the way to my shoulders and honestly I, that's like the best decision I ever made because ever since then my hair grew back so much healthier and better and I've, I haven't dyed it since even though I really want to but since I'm breastfeeding I just want to stay away from chemicals so maybe when I'm done breastfeeding I'll dye it again which is perfect because it's summertime so summertime I'll dye my hair and then it'll be damaged again <laughs> hopefully not fingers crossed but I don't think I'm gonna cut my hair anymore that short at least or else my mom will kill me and so will my husband because I think he likes my long hair and surprisingly he also likes when my hair is curled So ever since I've been doing this, he loves it so much. Wow, this is the first time I've done my hair and I don't have to start over. Yes, honey. Would you like to say hi to the lovelies? No. What happened? I was just making sure you were recording. <laughs> You're the one who pressed record. Yeah, that's why I got paranoid. Yeah, that's saying in too. How does it look? Everything that you say is gonna stay in. Yeah. It's not gonna stay in. You're not the one editing it. Uh, uh, that's staying in too. Uh, <laughs> How does it look? It's looking pretty good as usual. Thanks. You wanna do mine next? Sure. Your hair is long enough. Was... It's getting there. Eventually. You made me forget what I was saying. Um. But yeah, this is the first time I didn't have to start over. I'm a perfectionist and I go crazy when my hair is not neat and it doesn't look good. So if my braids don't look good or if it's not tight enough, you would see me start over about two or three times. But this side is always pretty good with me. It's always this side that I could never get this perfect. So if you guys can see like a little bit of my hair sticking out, but it's okay. I also love braiding my hair like this. It looks so cute. When I have my baby girl, ooh, I'm gonna be doing her hair so much. I can't wait for that. So now I'm just gonna start with this side. A little backstory on this. I actually learned it from my sis Vani, AKA my doula aka my therapist we have gotten super close so during oh my god see i don't even know what i'm doing right now okay now my hand is starting to hurt me from holding it up so much <laughs> okay but yeah um during quarantine which was three years ago we actually got really close and she told me about curling your hair this way and ever since I never looked back. 
because it's been such a easy and fast way to do it. So thanks sis for teaching me this. Gotta give her credit. And since then, like we literally talk every single day. And you barely find friends like that. She also was in the room with me when I gave birth. There she is, my doula. So if you ever want or need a doula, let me know. I'll give you her number. Okay, I gotta start over. Just take a little break because I'm tired. <sighs> okay, sorry, I'm just concentrating right now because I don't want to mess up again to have to start over because my hands are hurting. Another way to curl your hair is using those curl bands that you you can get them from Amazon. If I ever need to use those, which I don't because I don't care for it. And I find this a very easier way to curl my hair. Um, I can always steal from my baby sister because she has a whole lot. This little piece here just sticking up. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, my baby sister has been using like a sock a couple months ago or like a scarf or a t-shirt to curl her hair until she brought those bands. I have no idea what else that girl used. <sighs> Finally, at the end. You see what I mean by my left side always never comes out good as my right side. I don't know what it is. So I always do this the night before and braid my hair and then sleep with it. Once I washed my hair in the morning and braided it, and left it all day and all night and I woke up the next morning and I undid it and my hair was very very bouncy and curly so I think if you want a more bouncier curly hair you can leave it longer but that's basically it I braided both sides of my hair and now we're gonna sleep with it and I'll show you guys in the morning what it looks like Okay, so it's the next day, so now we're gonna take out the braids and I'll show you what it looks like. how to get heatless curls without using any tools at all. This is my absolute favorite way to get curls in my hair and I love how it looks all the time. Now, I typically wash my hair every two to three days so that's how long the curls will last. You guys let me know if you try it and if you do, I hope you love it as much as I do. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay beautiful. <laughs>